Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. Uh, before we get really get started, I do want to go into the graveyard, because if you notice, I'm at max level with wind. So let's go check that out. Okay, here we are. So over here is the wind grave, and you can notice that it's much larger than any other gravestone here. Yeah, but it remains dark. We need a secret stone that can release this spirit. We got the one for um, the darkness elemental, but we need to get ones for everything else. There's also that gravestone over there, but we can't really do anything with that uh, right now. So that's all I wanted to show you here. So just keep that in mind for later. Now we also want to head on over to the orphanage, because we heard from the uh, little r London street rats that all the children who go to the orphanage vanish. So even though this really does not concern us in the slightest, we're here anyway. Yeah, um, I really don't care. We're kind of going after Albert Simon. And these are kids in JRPGs. Screw them. Oh! Oh, this is actually Cardinal Simon's mansion. And it's also the orphanage? Huh. That's weird. Okay, so I guess we do have to come here. I guess this serves a purpose after all. Oh, yeah, you kind of have a point. Yeah, just stay here all alone. All by yourself. What could possibly go wrong? You know, we have this kid outside, and we really can't stand him, and he stole money from us. Could you take him in and make him vanish? That would be lovely. I love how Yuri isn't talking about the, uh, the kids at all. He's like, hey, you know, we're really here about Albert Simon. We told this little brat outside that we're gonna come help his friends, but nah. Oh! Oh. So this is an orphanage. Where are all the kids? Okay, so speaking of people who are based on, like, real people, or based on fact, apparently Marguerite is based on Matahari. I really don't know how that works, considering that, you know, Matahari was executed, and she wasn't American, and she wasn't a reporter, and she looks nothing like Matahari either, but sure, whatever. Oh, that is true. That does make sense. Um, well, they're asleep. Yeah. Oh. Why don't we just come back in the morning when the kids are awake? Uh, but then again, we do everything at nighttime in this game. Yeah, actually it is. Oh. I don't remember them saying anything about two years ago. Huh, okay, whatever. Maybe he's like buried in the basement or something. Okay, so that's all that we can do here, so yeah, we need to head on back to the inn. Hmm. And Jack isn't mysterious at all. Oh, there's that man in black. The one that was trying to kidnap that kid earlier. Yeah. Wait, you weren't trying to grab the kid. The man in black was trying to grab the kid. I guess he's his underling, so, you know, if the man in black is trying to grab the kid, so is Jack, I guess. Is it just me, or does Jack look like a pimp from the 70s? Like, what is he wearing? This white suit and that flared red shirt? And then the eye patch. I mean, come on. It's a bit over the top. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. I guess so. 
The kids are just collateral damage. We can deal with them whenever we go deal with Albert Simon as well. There's gotta be some sort of connection between the two. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, Alice has a point, but then again, it is nighttime! Uh, we could ask the townspeople about the, uh, orphanage, or we could actually just move on with life and do what we came here to do, which is really what I want to do. So, let's go over towards, uh, well, I guess we could talk to you, you're kind of in the way anyway. Oh! That's... That makes a whole lot of sense. That's why the orphans are missing. Because they're actually adopted. Oh, but you've never actually seen them become adopted. Hmm. Maybe we should go and talk to those other street rats over here and, uh, see if they have any kind of insight into this situation. Did the music change? Is it just me? I thought the first time around the music was a lot more happy in here. Huh. Wait, where are all the kids? You know, this place reminds me of something from Oliver Twist. Did you guys ever watch that movie? I mean, I know it's a book too, but did you ever watch the movie and how they're like living in this kind of dilapidated house and like the attic and everything in this alleyway and all that? It reminds me a lot of that. How do you know they were taken away? Maybe they wanted to rob someone else blind. Well, we did remove the door. Oh. Okay. So? I want you to run away! Run far! Away. What the hell? Holy shit! Uh, or maybe you could stay with us? Wow, you have a lot of power. Your mother abandoned you because of that power. That's horrible. Oh, Yuri's doing the right thing. Good for you, Yuri. Me, I'd leave him to rot. But, yeah, we all know how I feel about these frickin' kids. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, now we get to choose our party members, and we get to choose a choice between Marguerite or Alice. Alice is so much better than Marguerite, so yeah, stick her in the party. And Hallie joins our party as well. Okay, so let's get on out of here, and let me actually show off Hallie. First of all, with his equipment, we got the oak slingshot earlier. I think it's kind of funny how we have a gun slinger, um, and somebody else who does a slingshot, but sure, whatever. And I'll deal with accessories off-screen. Uh, let's look at Haley's special skills. Basically, he is a jack of all traits. He can heal. Uh, he is wind elemental based, so he has the air edge ability, which will make somebody's weapon air based. And then he has attacks in earth as well as attacks in water, and he will gain other attacks in other elements as well. So if you want, he's essentially like the red mage of the group. Everybody else specializes in one element. Um, but he specializes in pretty much everything, so he's really nice to use. Problem is, though, he comes so late in the game, but eh, it's fine, whatever. It's not like he's underleveled or anything, so if you want to use him, hey, have at it. Be my guest. And right now we have to use him anyway, so eh, we might as well. But let's go back to the uh, hotel and talk to our party members. Get some extra dialogue here. Why not? Let's see what they're talking about. Hey there. Oh. Okay. Um, no. Get away from me, Keith. Yeah. So what I want to do is talk to um, the acupuncturist right here and switch my party around to take off accessories off of certain people, like Zhuzhen, and, um... Then go ahead and equip Hallie as well. Oh, and now Alice has some dialogue too. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm going to save my game and all that kind of good stuff, and then I'll meet you in a second. 
I got that stuff taken care of. Um, I gave the red leather jacket from Zhujin over towards uh, Haley. Gave him the warlock earrings, brigand earrings, and the priest earrings as well. For Alice, I gave her the accelerator. So hopefully, pretty soon, I can quit using this pedometer all the time. Yuri, he is same as always. So let's get on out of here. Yeah, the goal is to get up to 10,000 steps with that pedometer, disequipped it, and never use it again. Anyway, heading on back to this orphanage. I like how there's like this police van out in front of the orphanage to uh, take these orphans in there. Huh, Jack isn't here anymore, so let's just go exploring, see what we can't find. Oh, a locked door, my greatest weakness! Oh, that's that kid! The one that robbed us! Serves you right. Yeah, we'll get you out of there. Uh-oh. Yikes! Here comes the man in black. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yikes! Of course it was him! For... I'm not gonna really say boss time, he's pretty standard, but he does have a shit ton of HP. And he hangs himself upside down? Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see, we're gonna be using uh, Ignition. Go ahead and raise up our attack power, make him even stronger! Yeah, it's so good! Okay, so the man in black has 2,500 HP, and he is wind elemental based, so you want to use Earth. He always starts at the battle increasing his agility for whatever reason, and uh, yeah, thankfully we have strong Earth against this Night Stalker. Apparently he has a name. Who knew? Woohoo! Got a perfect on it. Sweet. Oh yeah, that's some nice damage there. And uh, you might as well join in the fun too. We'll use some Blessed Light. There we are. Yeah, Alice isn't really gonna be all that hot. She's pretty much here for healing purposes. If you wanna use somebody, I mean, you could use Hallie for healing purposes if you really wanted to. Um, that's up to you though. Personally, I'd rather use him for offensive purposes. Although, man! Yuri, with the mind's eye, and the demon earring, like, he is just killer. It's insane how good he is. I mean, a perfect hitting this guy's weakness with a 20% um, increase in his special attack from those earrings that I gave him on Hallie. Um, Yuri can deal just as much damage, which is his very first physical attack, not even hitting a weakness, but he is buffed up, so yeah, there is that. But holy crap, Olas, Yuri is insane right now. But yeah, um, as usual, these boss fights are going to take quite some time, because they do have a lot of HP, but there's really nothing else to speak of as far as this boss fight is concerned. Hit his weakness with Pally, heal up with Alice, go to town with Yuri. So without further ado, fast forward. Oh, and we got him. Wow, that was really quick. Oh, the kid's room key. Hmm. I really don't like how I'm not gaining wind elemental experience, but eh, whatever. Okay, perfect. Well, let's use that key and head on inside. Use keys to unlock doors or kick them down, or do a horrid push ring. All three work in this game. Yeah, we've got you now, but there are no other kids in here. It's just you two. So much for them being asleep. Oh. So Chris was kidnapped as well. And we'll do our best. Every time I hear them talking about Chris, it reminds me of Prophecy of the Moonlight Witch. Especially with Joshua and Yurio, kind of... I feel like Yurio was a mistranslation of Joshua anyway, but whatever. What is it? Oh. 
The guest room key. Okay, well, thanks. Well, let's look around this room. Oh, that's kind of sad. Let's see, and over here, what do we have? Hey, a seal of luck. And between these beds, we have a pure extract. And between these beds, oh, we have some dusty, disgusting sheets. But we also have a monkey paw, which is horrid. It is an item that inflicts irregular ring on the user, but it does increase your attack power threefold. So if you're good at irregular rings, hey, have at it. I am not. Okay, let's continue our exploration here. Grab a Zodiac bracelet, awesome. Probably sell that, I have plenty. And head on in here, let's see. A thick diary, oh, okay. Uh, sure. Oh, this must be from a kid. About his dead mother. Oh. Is this Jack? Huh. Oh. No one's listening to your prayers, unfortunately. What is his experiment? The book? That Vatican book that we heard about last time? Hmm, yeah, no kidding. Oh, maybe the kids are gone. Maybe the kids were experimented on. Huh. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, that's really rough. Oh, no, 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 nope. Let's just continue exploring this room. <laughs> Yuri isn't vulgar. Yuri's kind of hot. Ooh, get a lottery ticket. Awesome. Um, sure. Oh, we have to do a normal ring. Ah! A really fast normal ring. Holy crap. Oh my god! Do I have to do this three times? Fuck! God! Oh man! A woman holding a baby. The 5th of March, 75. Remember that. One year old Mary. What do you mean, what month is March? How dumb are you? It's the third month. So the 5th of the third month. 75. Yeah, I'm not doing that ring again. Screw that. Okay, so let's go on over here, and what do we have? What do we have? Get over here. The Eye of Ouroboros. That is very nice. It's a full restoration of your MP as well as your SP. Oh, and here we have the uh, only enemies that you're going to encounter in here. Uh, the easiest way to get rid of these guys is to fuse into Ifrit, and then use Blaze, and you can just one-shot them. It's my favorite way of getting rid of tons of enemies, is just one-shotting them. Nothing better than that. Oh, wow. Really? Seriously? The Banshees weren't killed? Wow, Alice, your ring is so narrow. Like, it's pathetically narrow. Oh, by the way, I put Hallie in the back row. Not that his weapon is immune to back row penalties or anything, but because, for the most part, he's going to be using ESP anyway. Okay, so let's go on over here. Oh, a dial-type lock. Uh, sure. Okay, so remember that code? It was the 5th of March. The year was 75. There we are. I don't know how you're supposed to know that, but sure. Whatever. Oh. 
I guess Roger Bacon's behind all this. Black magic. Oh, man. Ooh, get some monk earrings. I really like the monk earrings. Um, they are very, very nice to have, and I'm actually considering putting them on Alice and Yuri. Um, because your experience point gain goes up 20%, and the SP gain going down, that's really only an issue during boss fights. So if we're ever in an area with a lot of regular encounters, definitely stick these things on Alice and maybe Zhuzhin or Yuri or somebody else like that that you're going to be using. But right now, we have a lot of boss fights, so I'm not going to worry about them right now. Although, I could stick them on Yuri, but Yuri has some other stuff going on. Oh. Um, Great, we're doing the normal ring. This one isn't so fast, but that top one is so narrow. Come on. Woohoo! Got it. Oh, this must be Jack's diary. Yeah, I'll read it. April 18th, 09. Huh. Oh, the ghost of the old owner. So Albert Simon is dead. Huh. Oh no, is she going to die? Yeah. Oh, she's mummifying. That's disgusting. Oh no, that's horrible. Oh god. Ugh. So, I wonder if his experiments were to somehow revive his mother. She was cursed. Oh. Oh. Well, there you go. You kind of got caught up in the wrong crowd. Huh. That must be that book from the Vatican that Alice's father was searching for. The emigre document. I guess that's the book. It's always dark outside. This is Shadow Hearts, after all. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. It's always bacon! It all boils down to bacon. Huh, Mary, the 3rd of July, 54. There's our next code. Huh, I wonder when July is. Well, that's the 7th month. Yeah, so we have a bit more to explore with this orphanage, and we're going to meet up with Jack and give him a piece of our mind next time on Let's Play Shadow Hearts. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.